This video presents the basic technique of purification of the solid product, which is recrystallization using the reflux technique. In this technique, Impurities are eliminated from crude samples producing pure compounds. The appearance of the sample changes after the elimination process. Let's see what we need to prepare for this experiment. These are the chemicals needed for this experiment. First, weigh the amount of crude diphenyl needed and transfer it into a round bottom flask. All harmful, corrosive and flammable liquid chemicals are always stored in the fume hood. Next step is to get the amount of ethanol needed. Use a volumetric flask to measure the amount of liquid chemicals needed for the experiment and record the volume. Look at the liquid meniscus at eye level to get an accurate measurement. Now is the time to mix ethanol and crude diphenyl. Add ethanol measured from the fume hood into the RBF containing crude diphenyl. Observe how it is done. This is to ensure all the solid goes inside the RBF and immerse in the solvent. Ensure enough ethanol is used to fully cover the solid surface. Determine the minimum amount of solvent needed by doing this. Now we are ready to set up the reflux to begin the recrystallization. Step 1. When heating organic liquids, be sure to add 5 to 6 pieces of boiling stone to the mixture in the round bottom flask. Step 2. When doing this setup, attach the rubber tubing to the condenser first. Step 3. Carefully place the condenser on the RBF and the heating element under it. Step 4. Connect the other end of the tubing to a water source. Open the tap and observe how the water flows. Water enters the condenser from the bottom and exits at the top or at the upper end of the condenser. Turn on the thermal heater and start the reflux. Step 5. Observe the reaction mixture during heating. The solid will begin to dissolve in the hot solvent and the mixture will boil.
Step 6. Once the solids have all dissolved, turn off the thermal heater and remove it from beneath the flask. Be sure the boiling has settled before removing the condenser to add charcoal. Add some charcoal and another amount of ethanol into the RBF with crude divinyl. The reaction mixture will become black in color due to the charcoal. To restart reflux, repeat step 2, 3 and 4. Let the reaction boil for 15 minutes under reflux. Here is a video showing reflux in action. The reaction mixture inside should be black. Boil the mixture and the reflux for 50 minutes. You can see the condensed solvent returning to the flask from the condenser. Reflux occurs when the boiling solvent evaporates and condenses back into the RBF. While waiting for 15 minutes for reflux to finish, Prepare these items needed for filter while hot, a steamless funnel, a beaker, and a fluted filter paper. How do you fold a round filter paper into a fluted filter paper? Let's find out. Fold the filter paper into half. Fold half again to get two big petals. Push in one of the big petals to form another two petals. Do the same as in the other big petal. Now four petals are formed. Repeat the push-in method for the four petals. From four petals, eight petals will be folded. Always fold or push in according to the folded line to get a symmetrical fluted filter paper. Put all three items in the oven. Use them when it is nicely heated and when the reflux has finished. After 50 minutes of reflux, don't forget to get the preheated items in the oven. Repeat step 6 to stop the reflux. Turn off the thermal heater and remove it from beneath the flask. Be sure the boiling has settled before removing the condenser. Take off the RPF carefully and pour the hot black reaction on the preheated fluted filter paper and glassware. The technique of filter while hot must always be done when reaction is still hot and the filter paper and glassware are adequately preheated.
Observe the filter pepper and the filtrate in the beaker. Charcoal should be on the pepper as shown in A. The filtrate B is grayish indicating that there is a re-charcoal contamination. The best is C, which the filtrate should be clear without charcoal. Ice bath the filtrate and some ethanol. Observe the filtrate. Solidification occurs with temperature changes. Using the filter while cold method, the solid is filtered through a huge funnel. For the Hirsch vacuum filtration, a water pump is attached to the conical flask by vacuum tubing. A Hirsch funnel is placed on top of the conical flask, which is used as the liquid waste collector. Pay attention to the technique being shown in the video. Switch on the apparatus. First, you need to wet the filter paper with a small amount of cold ethanol. Pour the precipitate into the Hirsch funnel. After all main solid is poured, rinse the glass rod and beaker thoroughly with cold ethanol. Leave the solid to dry under vacuum suction. Weigh an empty vial with the cap attached and record the weight. Carefully transfer the dry solid into the vial. Weigh the sample in the vial with the cap and record the weight. Calculate the product weight using this equation.